Can you smell it in the air? I can smell it in the air. There's a war a brewing, a GPU war. That's right. Today on motherboards.org, I'm your host, Elwar Ferris. We're about to have another kung fu battle against two of the latest GPUs. I know there's a lot of confusion out there. People are in, what should I buy? What should I do? Fans are going, whoo, everybody's in raves. So today, we're gonna bring you the first GPU war of a series of GPU wars. Today, we'll be bringing you the AMD 7970 versus the new NVIDIA GTX 680. So without a bunch of other bullshit, let's get in and let's compare these cards head to head. Check it out. I know a lot of you folks are out there are going to wonder just about some of the very simple things about these cards. And actually, a reference GTX 680 and a reference AMD 7970 are actually about the same size. So as far as going inside your case going, these cards are both about 10 inches long, they're both about 4 inches high, and they're both about an inch and a half thick. So these cards are pretty similar. Now, there are a few differences. Power requirements are slightly different. The new NVIDIA card, it requires two six-pin power connectors and only requires 195 watts of TDP. The AMD 7970, on the other hand, requires a six and an eight pin and is 220 watts of TDP. So there's a little bit more power requirements there. There are also a couple other differences. As far as heat goes, the 7970, the reference card, it gets about 65 to 68, depending on where it's running. That's its basically reference heat. And the new NVIDIA card, it's running at about 78 Celsius, all all the way to 80 depending on what kind of room you're working in. So those are a couple things to take in consideration. Now let's just jump in and look at the head-to-head -head benchmarks as they compete in some gaming adventure. So there you guys have seen it. There are a few differences between these cards, but here's what's really a main factor, I think. If you're somebody who only likes NVIDIA cards, are you going to buy an AMD card? Even if the AMD card is faster and better, will you buy it? I have to say you're probably going to say no. And if you're an AMD fan, you're not going to buy an NVIDIA card. That's just how most people are. Me personally, I don't care anything else about how good the card is running. I don't care whose label's on it, whether it's NVIDIA or whether it's AMD, ATI, Chronofex, I don't care who it is. I look for a card and how well it plays games and how it does and stuff. Now, both these cards play all the games awesome. Now, the card that we're using, the AMD version, it's an overclocked card. So the reference version will be a little bit slower. Take that into consideration. And also the GTX 680 that we're using today, it's a reference-based card. There's going to be a whole bunch of new models of these cards overclocked and with new cooling. And then we'll come back to this again. Now, the GTX 680, obviously, it runs a little bit hotter than the AMD 7970. That it does. But it also has less TDP, and it also costs less. A 7970 reference model is around $550. If you want to get yourself a GTX 680, they're $499 for the reference models. So there's about a $50 price difference there. I think at the end of the day, this really comes down to who do you like? Because these cards are so competitive going back and forth in things that you're basically gonna say, hey, who do I like and roll with it? Like I said previously, NVIDIA fans, you're probably not gonna go out and buy the AMD card even if I told you it was 10 times faster. But in this battle between the AMD 7970 and the new NVIDIA GTX 680, I say these guys tie and you guys have done the best job ever of competing head to head in the industry that I've seen yet. See you folks back here on motherboards.org.